How to set a mousetrap Decide what type of mousetrap you would like to use. There are a variety of mousetraps available on the market. Depending on your needs, and your ability to handle the mice either dead or alive, you can choose a trap that best suits your situation. Some traps do not kill the mice, while others kill them as swiftly as possible. Snap mouse traps are a spring-loaded devices that have a spring release bar that snaps and kills the rodent when triggered. Electronic mouse traps lure the mouse into the trap and then will electrocute it, thus killing the rodent. Glue mouse traps use glue trays with scented substances that attract rodents. Once the rodent has stepped into the trap, it tries to free itself, thus sinking further into the trap until it is dead. Multiple catch traps are designed to trap and hold more than one rodent. They can only be released through human intervention. Many individuals use these types of traps to catch and release the rodents. Visit a home improvement store. Once you have decided on what kind of trap to use, visit a home improvement store such as Lowe's or Home Depot to purchase your traps. You can also purchase them online to potentially find a better deal or save money. You can search for traps on Amazon or other e-commerce websites to find a great deal on the trap, s, you wish to purchase. Purchase bait. While you are shopping for traps, you may also want to purchase bait to place inside the traps. You could also simply use whatever you have in your home, such as chips or crackers you may already have sitting in your cupboards. Items such as peanut butter, chips, or candy are great for luring mice. Positioning the traps. Decide where to place the traps. When placing traps, you will want to target the areas where the mice are spending most of their time. Look for areas that have mouse droppings or urine. This will indicate where the mice are spending their time and feeding. Most mice will travel along walls, potentially leaving smear marks from the grease on their fur. Use these clues to locate the best area to place the traps. Mice tend to hide in attics, basements, closets, inside the walls, in storage boxes, and wood piles. Bait the traps carefully. You will want to avoid accidentally triggering the trap while you are setting it. For spring-loaded trap, place the food in the bait station. Try tying the item down with dental floss to make sure that it stays in place. To bait an electronic mouse trap, open the lid and set the bait in the bait station. The bait station is usually in the back of the trap in order to get the mouse to completely enter the trap. Bait a catch and release trap by placing an enticing treat inside the trap, usually far away from the entrance. Use bait with a strong scent. A mouse will not be inclined to go in or near your trap if there is nothing to entice it to do so. A treat with a strong scent will have a greater chance of luring the mice. Examples of enticing bait are peanut butter, fried bacon, or candy. Place a trap or two inside of a paper bag. This works best for the spring-loaded traps since they will easily fit inside the trap. If the trap is triggered and a mouse is killed, it will save you from having to clean up the bloody mess and slash or seeing much of the carcass. Place the traps strategically in your problem area. Aim to place them along high traffic areas and the pathways to and from their nesting areas. The pathways generally include baseboards, countertops, and inside cupboards. Use caution when placing traps as you do not want yourself or others to reach into a cupboard and accidentally trigger one of the traps. Let all family members and roommates know where the traps are so that they don't get grabbed or stepped on. Use multiple traps. This will increase your chances of actually catching one. Checking on the traps. Look over the traps periodically. Once you have set the traps, be sure to check on them at least every couple of days or so. You will want to promptly clean up any mice if one gets caught in your trap. Waiting too long to look at your traps could result in missed opportunities to catch more mice and could also give off bad smells if the mice are left to decompose. Dispose of the mouse. Invert a plastic bag and use it to pick up the mouse. Turn the bag back out and dispose of the mess. Some traps, such as electronic traps, allow you to flip open the top and dump out the mouse without having to touch it at all. Be careful not to let any young children touch or handle dead mice, 
as they can be carriers of germs and disease. Clean the trap. If you have been successful in catching a mouse, clean up the mess and clean the trap. Clean up any blood or mess on the trap or in the area. If it's a humane trap, take the mice to a field at least 5 miles away from your house and release them. You can usually reuse your traps. If you feel queasy at the thought of cleaning up a dead mouse in a trap, place the baited trap into a paper bag. Let others know that there is a mouse trap in the bag and that it belongs in that area. This way you can easily clean up the mess by simply throwing away the bag. Set another trap. You may have another mouse, keep setting traps until you are confident there are no more to be caught. This may take a while, as there could be numerous mice that you are unaware of. Continue to look for signs of mouse activity and keep setting traps until the problem is resolved. If it is a persistent or difficult infestation, consider contacting a professional exterminator to help you eliminate the mouse problem. Mice are tricky and are known for outsmarting traps.